group VP with Xiaomi, and I lead Xiaomi's business in India. Extremely happy to be here, launching a brand new Redmi Note series. Now, all our Mi fans, our Redmi Note series is something special. Every time we launch this product, we have a huge launch event with all of you guys. Last year, we launched two Redmi Note series, Redmi Note 7 and 7 Pro, and then Redmi Note 8 and, and, and 8 Pro. And both these times, we had more than 1,500 Mi fans in a huge auditorium. And this time, we had planned something even bigger. We had thought that we will call more than 2,000 Mi fans, hundreds of media colleagues and partners for this incredible product launch. But unfortunately, given the kind of circumstances, we had to cancel the on-ground event. But I'm pretty sure that we will compensate today and we'll have the biggest ever online launch event for this new series. We are going to do something special. During this entire launch event, we will ask you guys nine different questions. And for these nine questions, you can win prizes worth nine lakh rupees. You can win nine plus nine, which is 18 smartphones. And more than 1,000 Mi fans can win these prizes. And not just this, you have the full day today to answer these questions. Thank you. So, be ready, get prepared. You can go on Mi Community, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you want. And you can post these answers and thousands of Mi fans will win prizes today. So let's start with what is happening at Xiaomi. Of course, you guys know, Xiaomi is now the number one smartphone brand for 10 consecutive quarters. We became the largest brand in Q3 2017. And the last quarter, which was Q4 2019, we were the number one brand for two and a half years. But last quarter, something special happened. We were not only the number one smartphone brand, but we also became the number one phone brand. Now, what does this mean? This means that for the first time in India, there's a smartphone brand, which is Xiaomi, which has sold more number of phones than smartphones and feature phones combined of any other brand in the country. And it is truly historical. If you look at the entire year 2019, as per the IDC report, Xiaomi sold or shipped more than 40 million devices, which is to be precise, 43 million units in the calendar year 2019. For the entire year, we had a market share of about 28.6%. Samsung had 20.3%. Vivo at about 15%. Oppo at about 11%. This means Xiaomi was about 40% bigger than the second biggest brand, which is Samsung, almost 2x bigger than the third biggest brand, which is Vivo, and almost 3x bigger than the fourth largest brand, which is Oppo. And even though we are so big, we ship more than 40 million units, which is 10 million units every single quarter, still we managed to grow. We grew almost 16% year on year if you compare Q4 2018 versus Q4 2019. Now, this growth number, you should also look at the base effect because our base is already so huge, we are selling more than 10 million units every single quarter. Still managing to grow at 16% year on year is truly incredible. If you look at Xiaomi, we have multiple brands across the world. And there are two brands under which we've been selling products for a long time, which is Mi and Redmi. Historically, you have seen a lot of products from Redmi coming to India. But this year, we announced we will also focus a lot more on Mi brand. What is unique about 2020 is that you will see both these brands operating fairly independently in the year 2020, which means we will, we will have independent portfolio and we will have independent teams on for both sales and marketing for me and Redmi. So what does Redmi stand for? And I'm sure all of you guys already know this answer because we've been selling a lot of Redmi phones in India over the last five years. The first thing that Redmi phones stand for is of course they have, they have the best possible specs. Second, they have the highest quality standards. And third, of course, they have honest price. We try and cut down all possible costs and pass on that benefit to our users and that's what we call as honest price. So what has Redmi achieved over the last five years? Actually, a lot. A significant part of our portfolio has been Redmi brand, has been Redmi phones, and we have been selling millions of millions of these devices every single month. In fact, you'll be surprised to know that till now, we have sold more than 100 million Redmi devices in India. 
please note these are not Xiaomi. These are just Redmi devices under the Redmi brand. And today we are here to talk about a new Redmi phone, which is a new Redmi Note series. So you've seen we've had global debut of several Redmi Note devices in India. We launched Redmi Note 3 first in India, Redmi Note 5 Pro first in India, Redmi Note 7 Pro first in India. And today we will have another global debut. And we are calling this device as Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Yes. We are introducing a brand new series within the Redmi Note family and this series is called as Pro Max. And this series really stands for two things, Pro Camera and Max Performance. And I'm sure all of you guys will really, really love it. And that's why the hashtag that we're using is Pro Camera Max Performance. Not just this, we are using multiple other hashtags today. Uh, the ones that we're using are Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, and I love Redmi Note. So if you're tweeting, if you're posting on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere, do not forget to use all of these hashtags. Now remember I spoke about nine questions that we will ask. For every question, we will give out two brand new Redmi Note devices and we will also give out thousands of other gifts. So let me start by asking the first question to all our me fans who are watching us live. The question number one is probably the simplest question. I'm sure all of you guys know this. The question is very simple. Please answer dash 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 is India's number one phone brand. Do not forget to use all these hashtags that we spoke about and two of our lucky me fans get, will get a chance to win two brand new Redmi Note devices. So what are these brand new Redmi Note devices? Starting with Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. To talk more about this, let me call on stage the man himself, Chief Marketing Officer of Xiaomi India, Sir Anuj Sharma. Thank you, Manu. Hi guys, and all the me fans, we would have loved to have you guys here, but this I'm sure is gonna be equally exciting. I'm Anuj, and as Manu mentioned, I lead marketing at Xiaomi India. And it's my privilege to introduce to you the global debut of the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. But the fun has to continue. Before I get to the Pro Max, I have another question for you. So the second question, which Manu mentioned, and I want you to answer with total number of Redmi devices in India, sold in India is more than Dash. You guys all know the answers. Write that answer down, tweet, go on Facebook, wherever you are participating in this contest with these hashtags. And of course, you guys are gonna win big. So with that, let me get into the Pro Max. Excited? Of course you are. Now the Pro Max has three fundamental pillars. You have Aura Design. You've got a Pro Camera and Max Performance. And the first part that we are all super excited to show you is Aura Design. Now, if we go back just about a couple of years, the Redmi Notes had a very, very functional design. These worked beautifully, however, they were not as good looking as the Note 7 Pro. With the introduction of the Note 7 Pro and Aura Design, the entire industry changed. And of course, the Aura Design was loved so much by our Mi fans that we've continued to evolve to multiple devices. Now, all these devices had different variations of Aura Design, even the K20 Pro with Aura Prime. However, it's the Pro Max. So what are we going to do here? We are stepping it up a whole notch. It is 2020 and we are going to give you the Aura Balance design. Here is what the Aura Balance design is going to mean to you. Now what you've got with the Aura Balance design is you've got impeccable craftsmanship, You've got the immersive experience, and of course, what has always stood true to the Redmi Note series 
you've got a very functional design. And of course, all of you guys are eager to see this. So let me get straight to the impeccable craftsmanship. Now this is, you know, going back internally to our inside story. When we were looking at a new Pro Max, it's a new extension. It's a whole new Redmi Note, which has been the best seller in the country. We wanted to design something that is truly out of the segment. It should look like a flagship device. And that's, I think, what we've exactly been able to achieve with the Pro Max. You guys want to see what the Pro Max looks like? Yeah! Of course. Now, this is just one part of it, but as you can see, the amazing symmetrical design that you get with the all new Aura Balance. Uh, of course, if you have a line right through the center, it's perfectly matched, right? Uh, not just at the back, but even the front. And we'll get to that in a bit. But while we are at this, the back design has a 3D curved glass body. It fits in perfectly to give you an incredible hand feel. Let's move on to the next one, immersive experience. Of course, with the Aura design, immersive experience was one of the key pillars. Today, we are taking this immersive experience to the next level. Back in 2019, we introduced the dot notch display. Today, we are getting rid of the notch altogether. We have moved on to a dot display. Now this is important because the camera is moving in display and it's also the largest display that we've ever put on a Redmi Note. The Redmi Note 7 was a 6.3 inch. The Redmi Note 8 Pro, we took it up to a 6.5 inch and on the Pro Max, we have the largest display that we've ever put on a Redmi device at 6.67 inches. And this would also give you an idea why it's being called Max. All the Mi fans who've been with us for years would clearly remember the Mi Max series. The Mi Max series was this amazing large display experience that you guys got. Now the Mi Max series was a 6.44 inch display. Compare that to the Pro Max that we're launching today and that 6.44 is dwarfed by this massive 6.67 inch display. But this is also a much smaller footprint, which means at the size which is much smaller than the, the Mi Max, you've got a larger display, a better hand feel, easy to carry around. Uh, of course, uh, when we're looking at this, let's also compare with the Note 8 Pro. Compared to the Note 8 Pro, while retaining the same width, so when you hold it in your hand, it fits in beautifully there as well, because the width is almost the same while we've increased the overall screen size. How has that happened? We've gone in for a taller cinematic display. This one features a 20 is to nine cinematic screen which looks absolutely gorgeous. And that is a very immersive screen for any content that you might be viewing on the Pro Max. But when we're talking about immersiveness, we can't just leave it on the AV part. Now we are doing something that has not been done in the mid-range segment till date. We are getting you flagship haptic experience. What does that mean? Now most phones have a rotary vibration motor in the phone. We are replacing that with a Z-axis vibration motor. Z-axis vibration motor directly interacts with the screen. It's in the same plane. And as you use it for multiple functions, it's giving you very precise haptic feedback. How, how precise do you ask? Well, we've matched it to more than 150 actions. While you're typing, or scrolling or deleting stuff, it has a very different response and you know exactly what you're doing on the display. It's a whole new experience that we are bringing in for the Redmi Note Pro for the very, very first time. 
Moving on to the last part of our design, which is obviously the functional design. Now this has been a mainstay of the Redmi Note series. And while you've got this beautiful, gorgeous finish, and you've got all of these new Z-axis motors and a large display, what we will never compromise on is functionality. And getting exactly that with the Pro Max. In fact, the Pro Max still has that awesome, awesome 3.5 millimeter jack. But what we are also retaining is the much loved IR blaster. I, I think the IR blaster, we are probably the only ones who give the IR blaster and it's become a mainstay for all our Mi fans. We've been expanding our coverage for the devices and now the IR blaster supports hundreds and thousands of different devices where the Mi, uh, the Redmi Note uh, 9 Pro Max will act like a universal remote when it comes to those devices. From a functionality perspective, the other part of functionality is also how you're able to use it every day. And that has to have an element of quality and protection. Well, another first on the Redmi Note series is it's got triple Corning Gorilla Glass 5. So you're protected in the front, the screen is covered with Gorilla Glass 5. The curved back is also Gorilla Glass 5 and the glass over that beautiful, beautiful camera array is also Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. It's incredible and as protected, it looks gorgeous. But it is aura balance, so we have to balance one more element here. And that is the fingerprint sensor. Now what we've done is we've moved the fingerprint sensor from the back, which has been traditionally there, to the side. Now why this movement and why are we calling it balanced? Well, the problem is when you've got the fingerprint sensor either at the back or the front versus the side mounted fingerprint sensor, you have certain compromises. When you're looking at those compromises, what are those? Let's do a, a test, a usability test in terms of where these fingerprint sensors are. Now, when it's at the back, it is fast because this is normally a physical fingerprint sensor, can unlock in 300 milliseconds, but when it's on your desk, you need to pick it up, tap, and put it back on. In the in-display fingerprint sensors, unless you're talking about super expensive devices using the latest expensive tech, these fingerprint sensors are slow. Well, with the Pro Max and the side uh, fingerprint sensor, you get the best of both worlds. You get the speed of a physical fingerprint sensor and the positioning that you don't really have to compromise whether you're on the go or whether you're using it on your desk. So that's the aura design that you saw, but you must be asking, how does it exactly look like? I mean, I've seen a part of it, but show me the full phone. Well, let's get into the colors. Now from a colors perspective, we've got amazing colors. It is the whole color science that's been evolving for the last one year and I think one of the results which looks spectacular is the Aurora Blue. Now Aurora Blue is, thank you. Now this fundamentally looks very different. And as you can see, it's somewhere a mix of the blue that everyone loved on the Note 7 Pro and that hint of green coming in that people loved on the Note 8 Pro. It's a mix of both in a way and it looks absolutely stunning. But if you're looking for a really, really gorgeous color, well, I've got the Glacier White. <laughs> However, now the blues aside and the whites aside, my personal favorite, and I'm sure you guys are absolutely going to love this, and all the people who love classic colors, we've got the Interstellar Black. And when I'm saying it looks really, really good, I'm not kidding. Let me show you the device itself. Thank you, Kabir. Now, this looks absolutely stunning. I don't know, can, can we have the camera look in this? Interstellar black on the Note 9 Pro Max. 
I think I'm just going to keep this phone with me. It's mine now. So to sum it up, you've got three incredible colors. You've got the Aurora blue, you've got the glacier white, and you've got the interstellar black. And that comes to the third question, or less a question, more of an opinion. You've seen those three colors. Hopefully you guys remember it, it was super important now. Now, the third question you need to answer with, my favorite color of the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is, put the color name, and of course, use these hashtags and maybe get a chance to win a Pro Max in that color itself, right? So choose, choose wisely. Maybe if your color is not liked with by too many other people, you might have a chance to win that too. You have a higher chance to win that. So that is the Aura design. All overall, a really, really good looking device. It does not look like it belongs in this segment at all. It doesn't feel like it belongs in this segment at all. What you've got is a triple Corning Gorilla Glass 5 setup. You've got in-display cameras. Of course, the functionality of a headphone jack, IR blaster, a side-mounted fingerprint sensor all being there. You've got an amazing symmetrical layout and a 20 is to 9 cinematic display, which is amazingly gorgeous and immersive. And that brings me to the next part, which I'm sure you guys are excited about, the pro cameras. Now, pro cameras, as you would have guessed, of course, we've got four cameras at the back. Now, what are these four cameras? You've got a 64 megapixel primary camera. You've got an eight megapixel wide angle camera. So you can capture a lot more. And the third one, which I'm personally really, really excited about, a five megapixel macro camera. So when you go close and you see a lot more, it's world changing. And of course we know right from the Redmi Note 5 Pro onwards, you guys have loved portrait shots. You get another depth sensor to get those portrait shots. And we'll talk about the portrait uh, soon. What you get with all of these four is a flagship level camera experience. Let me show you what it can do. So the 64 megapixel primary camera gives you stunning results. I'll show you a couple of images shot on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Ready? Now this shot is absolutely gorgeous. But the reason why we took this is not just because of the amazing colors, but the detailing that we wanted you to see. Right from you know, each of these windows to the, the, the grass and the shrubbery that's in front of it. Uh, the dynamic range that you are able to see with on a very, very bright day, uh, including parts which are really dark, it's able to capture all of this. But of course, this is a 64 megapixel camera, which means the actual image is a lot, lot bigger. <laughs> this actually is a frame-worthy shot. Right? You can easily frame this, and because it's 64, you can print it huge. Right? So it's, it's probably like one wall gone, but it looks really, really good. Uh, but you'd be asking, how does it compare with others? Now we've done that too. So what we did, as you would have seen uh, Manu mention, the number two and the number three brands. So we picked up their mid premium range and decided to compare it against them. So you've got the Vivo V17 Pro which sells for about 25, 30,000 rupees. Uh, you've got the Samsung A71, again, one of the best sellers outside of the Xiaomi family, and this is coming from Samsung, and we're comparing it with the Note 9 Pro Max. As you can see, the Vivo ones are getting super saturated, the color science is slightly off. Uh, with the Samsung A71, again, it's, it's kind of too warm, it's not really natural, and losing out on the details, while the Note 9 Pro Max does the best in terms of both color balance, how natural that photograph looks, and all the detailing that you need. Right? Uh, but going beyond the, the photographs alone, we're taking photography or pro photography to the very next level with support for raw photography for the first time. Now, raw photography is clearly not for everyone. 
when you take a shot now a normal jpeg shot is going to be nice and vibrant when you take a raw shot you're going to get colors something like this but for the pro photographers they know what a raw shot is capable of you get a lot more information and what you can do with that information is astounding in fact let me show you taking a picture in raw mode and then just transforming it completely here's a video putting them side by side now the original jpeg starts to fade away when you've got a processed image from that raw photo that you had shot so that's for the pro photographers uh, again the other part all of these have been daylight what happens when the light conditions aren't perfect of course we've got night mode and we've got night mode pretty much worked up uh, perfected for the last one or two so let me show you what the night mode is capable of now this is an image with night without night mode now of course the camera sensor is so big that it's able to capture all this information uh, even with the night mode switched off but with the night mode the party completely changes every single time you get amazing details <laughs> what you see is none of the lights are getting blown out the colors are preserved and of course all the detailing in the shot are amazing uh let me move on to another new part that we are introducing with the pro max and we are calling it the pro color a pro color is for those people probably the other spectrum of the people who want to shoot raw right so the raw uh, photographers are pro photographers who love to kind of work and get it exactly right and then there's a large majority of people who just want great looking images at one shot for them pro color is just one button away what it does is magically transform images like this which itself uh, it's a great image by the way with just one color when one button the pro color just completely changes it. so and you are able to see this in the viewfinder itself before you are taking that photograph so you know exactly what you're getting and if you like that shot of course these shots are always insta ready uh, moving on from the main 64 mp camera to the wide angle one now this is a 8 megapixel ultra wide 119 degrees field of view now this also does an amazing job if you've got an image like this now this is a really really old fort we've taken this image uh, with harsh light coming in and of course really dark conditions now this is the regular uh, field of view that you get and once you move to the ultra wide you're able to see a lot more and these are places where you can't really move back and front and right? this is really hard to kind of capture space uh, as you can see clearly all the details the door the ceiling all of that in spite of really tough lighting conditions has been captured well how well well let's compare it back to the phones that we do, were doing the comparisons with which is the vivo and the samsung phones and let's take a look at the differences here of course uh, both are the both the phones that we are there are struggling for light are struggling for the dynamic range uh, with the wide angle are uh, you still able to capture all the information that you need on the pro max and that brings me to the third camera well therefore so the third camera and which perhaps is my favorite and this is the macro camera and we've put in a 5 megapixel macro camera here with a focal distance of just 2 cm well if you are doing macro you want to get as close as possible otherwise the purpose is defeated uh with the 5 megapixel you get obviously a lot more information on the note 8 pro we put in a 2 megapixel camera uh, 
while some people thought it wasn't really high resolution enough, uh, almost everyone in the industry now has a two megapixel macro, we've decided to step it up. The two megapixel was great, giving great results, so imagine what the five megapixel is going to do. Or probably you don't have to imagine, I'll just show you. You get images like this. Now this is interesting because for the first time ever, I've been able to figure out that sesame seeds actually are like tiny watermelon seeds. So those are sesame seeds or till as it's called on the sushi and they, you can look at the detailing overall. Uh, but not just that, if you look at the top left corner of that image, you can see that the chopstick, which is that tiny little edge, is actually a perforated piece of wood. And these are the details that you want your macro to capture. This is why we put in a larger sensor here so that you get magical shots like this. And another magical shot, or the magical shots that we've been delivering, is of course portraiture. And portraiture is where the fourth camera or the depth sensor comes into play. The result is absolutely stunning. So when you look at this particular image, right? Now this is a portrait mode shot. What you can see is the overall detail in the subject which has been preserved. And this one is tricky because on one side you've got harsh sunlight and then it goes really dark on the other side. But the Pro Max is able to kind of capture all of that, yet have perfect edge detection. Even a few strands of stray hair are still in focus while the background is getting blurred beautifully. Another important bit is the part that's getting blurred also retains that color science, which is important when you need portrait shots like this one. Now those are the four cameras and the results that you can clearly see for yourself. Of course, once you guys get your hands on the Pro Max, I'm sure you're gonna just blow all of these pictures away with the things that we've seen from me fans over the years. Uh, now that's the four back cameras. What about the front camera? Well, again, it is the Pro Max. We had to go big, introducing the largest ever front camera on the Redmi Note series, a 32 megapixel in display camera uh, right in the phone. So when you're taking selfies, now your selfies can look as good as this. This is incredible detailing right from the front camera. And of course, this one, we've taken it a step further. It's an AI portrait shot. Thanks to Xiaomi's semantic segmentation, it is a beautiful portrait shot right from the front camera. Again, you see the same challenges that we showed in the previous portrait shot. You've got sunlight coming in from one side, uh, you know, trying to battle out with the, the shadows on the other side. All of that stays in focus. All of it is detailed really well. And you've got this uh, really great bokeh, which kind of just fades away in the background. It looks absolutely stunning. So that is the front camera. And that brings me to, if you guys are ready, the next question. Question number four. Uh, and if you guys have been listening, of course, this one is very, very easy to answer. So you need to answer with hashtag Redmi Note 9 Pro Max comes with a dash megapixel primary camera. I don't know, is it 48? Is it 64? And a dash megapixel selfie camera. You've got two incredible cameras, both in the front and the back. And of course, don't forget to use these hashtags and get a chance to be a part of this contest. And that kind of sums up the overall camera space for us. You've got 64 megapixel camera at the back. You also have an ultra wide, uh, my favorite, the five megapixel macro. Now we are supporting raw photography in the Pro Max. You've got Pro Color. Of course, you saw that lovely 32 megapixel selfie camera right up front as well. Another thing that I did not mention uh, is that this camera also supports a 21 is to nine movie frame. So when you're taking those shots, you get that amazing cinematic look, uh, whether you're taking stills or you're taking videos. 
Now, before I move on to the next section, now this one is, is, is something that we wanted to share with all of you. Uh, we've had certain questions when we were meeting me fans last and they asked us uh, two things. One, uh, about our uh, configurations that we have for certain products. And the second one is, how is our 64 megapixel camera better than others? Well, there are, there's one answer actually to both of those questions. Our 64 megapixel camera actually uses MFNR or multi-frame noise reduction. That means it's taking eight 64 megapixel shots, combining them into one to give you one incredible high quality image. Now to do something like this, of course, the challenge is on the hardware processing side, which means that anytime Xiaomi uses a 64 megapixel camera sensor, it has to be supported with 6 GB of RAM. Because if we are using a 4 GB RAM variant, we cannot do MFNR, hence you only have a single frame, which often results in really low quality 64 megapixel shots. Now when you're buying a 64 MP camera, you expect that magic, and for that, we're limiting it to 6 GB. So the Pro Max, as you would have guessed, will start with only 6 GB of RAM. And while we are talking about RAM, of course, let's talk about performance or max performance. Well, I'm going to break this into three sections. The processor itself, and obviously some of us love those benchmarks and all the, uh, the cool stuff that comes with it. Second part I want to talk about is navigation. Now, we've not spoken about navigation in a long time, but today we've got something very, very special to share with you. And the third is the battery. Of course, with performance, you have to have a battery that kind of backs it up. Let's get into the processor part of it. Well, this is the first Redmi Note that will come with the 8 nanometer chipset. Now, this is a huge change when it comes to the previous generation. On the Redmi Note 8 Pro, we were using a Helio G90T, which was a 12 nanometer process uh, chip. This one is 8 nanometer. Now, why is this significant? Why is this important? Because you have better thermal efficiency and you have lower power consumption. Lower power consumption means that your battery lasts even longer. It also was recently called out, this processor that we are using, is being better than the Snapdragon 730G and the Helio G90T by TechPP. Can you guess this? Okay, one more hint. This is the first Redmi Note to come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 700 series. And yes, this is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G. Now, 720G is a significant leap in terms of processing in the 700 series from Qualcomm. It is built on the 8 nanometer process, which I told you was better for thermals and battery. But not just that, it's using the Cryo 465 architecture. That means it's also more powerful. But what's really, really important and a huge part of why the cameras are looking even better is because of a whole new AI engine. When the camera AI kicks in, You've got the Hexagon 692 supporting it all it can, along with, of course, the ISP, the Spectra, and it gives you incredible results. But if you want to look at just the pure performance, let's look at the Antutu scores. So, Oppo Reno 3 Pro is launched just a couple of uh, weeks back. Now, this uses the Helio P95, and it clocks in at about 2.25 lakh uh, score on Antutu. Pretty good. Then you've got the Vivo V17 Pro, which we showed you the camera samples for as well, has a Snapdragon 675. Now, Snapdragon 675 is something that we used on the Redmi Note 7 Pro more than a year back. Now, this one clocks in at about 212,000 points. And then you've got the Samsung A71, which uses the Snapdragon 730 and does about 2,65,000 points on Antutu. 
where does that put the 720G on the Pro Max? Of course, a lot higher. At 280,000 points, clearly you can see that TechPP wasn't really wrong. Uh, but not just from a pure performance perspective, it's also for all the gamers out there. In fact, the 720G, the G is more than just a respectful part. It's also for gaming. Uh, so you've got the Adreno 618 GPU, and this supports elite gaming. In a nutshell, what it means is, and you've got smoother gameplay, less jitters, and also less variation in terms of frames per second, which is all incredibly important when you're playing online games. Right? Each point second, point one second, can make the difference between you know, your team winning and not. Uh, and to also kind of bolster that, you have to go beyond the SOC, and we've added one more new thing on the Pro Max. You've got, for the first time ever, a two by two, MIMO on the Wi-Fi setup as well. Not just 4G, but Wi-Fi is also a 2x2 MIMO, which means you get better latency and better coverage when you're on Wi-Fi. And both of these work in tandem. Now, adding on to the performance, like I said, we are starting with 6GB, but we are not stopping there. It's going up all the way to a 8GB DDR4X RAM. And along with that high-speed RAM, you're also getting high-speed storage. So you're getting up to 128 GB of UFS 2.1 storage. And one more thing that we had done. Uh, on the Note 8 series, basically the Note 8 and the Note 8 Pro, were the first Redmi Notes to not have a hybrid SIM slot. It had a 2 plus 1 SIM slot or a SIM tray, which meant you could use two SIMs and a separate dedicated slot for micro SD. Well, you guys told us that you loved it. We are extending it further. The Note 9 Pro Max will also have a 2 plus 1 uh, setup when it comes to SIMs. Now that is the performance part of it, or the processor part of it. The next part is something that's been really, really close to all of our hearts. That's navigation. You guys know what, what's coming next. Of course, when it comes to navigation, for years, or actually since smartphones, we have been using one of these three. Either the American GPS system, or the Russian GLONASS system, or in some cases, even the Chinese Beidou system. Now these are satellite clusters which help your phone figure out where exactly it is. Well, on the Pro Max, for the first time ever, we are bringing in India's own navigation system, NAVIC. <laughs> Now, this has been possible thanks to a very deep partnership that we've had with ISRO uh, going back to the first time they started testing NAVIC on our devices. The first device in the world that successfully ran NAVIC, a first consumer device, was actually the Mi 8. Uh, from there, of course, we've come a long way. Our uh, Pro Max will support NAVIC, which means it's faster to lock on. It is giving you more accurate positioning than any of the other uh, uh, positioning satellites. And of course, a lot more reliable as long as you are within the Indian subcontinent or within a periphery of another 1,500 kilometers. So even if you are in neighboring countries, Navic is going to work perfectly. And what we are doing at Xiaomi is we will always prioritize the Navic satellites. Navic has seven satellites focused on India. Uh, your device should be able to latch on to any of these seven, and only if you're not able to find these seven will we kind of go onto the GPS and the GLONASS systems that we've been traditionally using. So expect more accurate, faster lock with the Note 9 Pro Max. And that brings us to the last part. <laughs> battery. Now battery is something that's become pretty much synonymous with the Note series. Right from the Redmi Note 3, where we first introduced a 4000 mAh, we had all the way to Note 7 Pro, which also had a 4000. With the Note 8 Pro, we stepped it up, and that 4000 became 4500. And of course, 
the overall feedback, the consumer satisfaction surveys have been absolutely brilliant. So we thought, hey, if something is working well, let's make it even better. Introducing today the largest battery on a Redmi device ever. The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max comes with 5,020 mAh. It's huge, huge. Uh, but not just a large battery. The other challenge that comes is, the moment you say larger battery, what about the thickness? Is it going to be fat? Is it going to be ugly? Well, ugly it's clearly not, because you saw the aura balance. But from a thickness perspective, in fact, it's the same thickness as the Note 8 Pro, or probably 0.1 mm thinner than that. So without really sacrificing any ergonomics, with even better aesthetics, you've got the largest battery ever. And this battery gives amazing results. In fact, you get more than 20 days of standby time, or more than 200 hours of music playback. Uh, my favorite, of course, you guys would have guessed, 11 hours of PUBG mobile playback. But what we got with this battery was amazing results. It's really, really hard to run this battery down. But once you manage to do so, we've got another surprise for you. The Note 9 Pro Max will come with a 33 watt fast charger. Wait, wait, wait. Inbox. Now this charger charges half the battery in under 30 minutes. It is quick. And that brings me to the end of performance section. What you saw was a Snapdragon 720G, which is built on the eight nanometer chipset or process. It's more power efficient. And you've got that power efficiency combined with a massive battery that also charges faster. You've got support for Snapdragon Elite Gaming and it comes with up to 8 GB of DDR4X RAM and up to 128 GB of UFS 2.1 ultra fast storage. And perhaps the most important part for us and one of the key reasons why we wanted to really use the 720G is the support for Navic. And that's the Note 9 Pro Max. So to summarize, on the Note 9 Pro Max, you get Pro Cameras Max Performance. The Pro Cameras start with a 64 MP quad camera array at the back. You've also got an ultra wide lens. You've got a five megapixel macro that can also shoot 1080p videos for the first time. You've got a 32 megapixel selfie camera, which is now in display. You've got a powerful Snapdragon 720G with up to 8 GB of RAM and up to 128 GB of UFS 2.1 storage. You've got a massive 5020 mAh battery with a 33 watt charger in the box. You've got an aura balance design making it look spectacular. Uh, and this entire finish is obviously protected by Corning's uh, Gorilla Glass 5, and there are three of them, front, back, and the camera unit. And of course, you've got three gorgeous colors to choose from. So, that's the Pro Max. I've got a question for you. So the question number five is, the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max comes with a Dash MAH battery and a super fast Dash Watt inbox charger. Use these hashtags, put your answers out there, and of course, taking these answers all day. So just continue and spread the word. Now that's the Pro Max. And of course, if you guys have been wondering what happened to the Pro, well, we've got a Pro right here. Uh, he's a yoga pro and also the in-house photography pro. Let me call upon Ankit to talk about the Note 9 Pro. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू अनुज चलो लो 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 गैजेट वाला इन द हाउस ये नाम तो सुना होगा वीडियोस तो देखे